Okay, okay, okay. You might be surprised to find me here. When I last spoke in a video two months ago, I was convinced that the next big video that I would be making would be my classic episodes ranking. I was foolish, however, because that video has been so draining to make that I can now finally say that it will not be coming out this year. I will, of course, still be working on it behind the scenes with a hopeful release at some point in 2022, but I don't want to end this year with a series of railway vlogs. I want to do something Thomas, and that brings us to this video. I'm sorry that this wasn't the ultra mega ranking that I promised, but I hope that you'll enjoy it anyway. Reverend Wilbert Audrey, born 15th of June 1911, the creator and writer of the first 26 books of the Railway series, and, in every sense of the word, the father of Thomas the Tank Engine. This set of 26 books is loved by thousands of people around the world and is perhaps the most important content that we will ever receive relating to this little blue train. Now, after Wilbert retired from the Railway series in 1972, 12 years later his son Christopher would pick up the pen and write a further 16 books until 2011. Now, these books seem to get a lot of criticism from many fans. Criticism of the stories themselves, supposedly poor illustrations by Clive Spong, and even occasionally bad continuity. This hate directed towards the works of Chris seems to have made some people blind to the fact that not all of the Reverend's work was perfect. And in this video today, I will be talking about that. Hello everyone, you're watching Can You See Fish? And in this video, I will decide definitively what my least favourite Reverend Audrey Railway Series book is. Contender 1, James the Red Engine, 1948. This is accepted by many to be Audrey's weakest book, and that's not without its evidence. The Reverend himself is quoted saying that this was his least favourite book that he wrote, due to having to meet a deadline from publishers alongside a general lack of inspiration when concocting his stories. The book focuses on developing the character of James, who was seen briefly in the previous book as a plot device for Thomas to rescue. The stories in this book are generally quite underwhelming. The first story has an insanely basic plot, even for the early Audrey stuff, that lacks any real action and barely has a conflict. The second, in which James damages a coach's pipe, is somewhat stronger, but still pales when compared to Audrey's other work. Troublesome Trucks is probably the best, as we see James begin his redemption, before coming to a fairly mediocre conclusion where Gordon makes a fool of himself yet again and James gets the express. The main issue with this book is that it doesn't really have any standout stories, or any that are particularly important for future events in the series. The writing is not the only thing below average however, the illustrations in this book are at times abysmal. Creepy faces, bad proportions, inconsistent depictions and one or two locations that don't even fit into Audrey's canon of Sodor plague this book. This illustration in particular is awful. The angle makes the engines look extremely squat and those faces, just look at those faces. This for me is the worst illustration of the entire railway series. Why Dalby? Contender 2, Edward the Blue Engine, 1954. This is perhaps a more unorthodox choice, but is one that I have a disdain for for one main reason. The title of this book is misleading. Very misleading. Edward is not truly the main character in three of this book's four stories. He barely appears in Cows. He's chased by Bertie, but doesn't overall interact with the plot in any way. Saved from Scrap focuses on Trevor. And... Old Iron is a fantastic story that Edward has a major role in. I can't complain there. My issue is that due to this book's quality of following a different character in each story, the actual stories themselves seem to dart around with very little in the way of connection and continuity between them, something that was very prevalent in Audrey's other books. It's certainly nowhere near as disappointing as James the Red Engine for me, and the stories stand perfectly fine on their own, but as a complete package, I would be amiss not to have mentioned this one in the video. Contender 3. Branch Line Engines, 
1961. This is a particularly bad one in my opinion. Audrey wrote it to fix the problem that he had with Thomas's buffer beam not being accurate to real life LBSC E2 tank engines. For this reason, the majority of this book feels quite pointless. We begin with Thomas Comes to Breakfast, a fairly dull story about Thomas being an idiot, with its only real redeeming quality being the crash that does have some nice illustrations. But once you know why Audrey had to have Thomas be sent away, the purpose of the story becomes a lot clearer. Things only get worse from here though, as we then get a boring story about a snooty diesel named Daisy who avoids pulling trucks. Original. And we then get another boring story about the same snooty diesel having a run-in with a bull. Original. We do, however, once again end on a high note with Percy's predicament being a fairly enjoyable story with one of the best accidents visually of the entire railway series. I just love how this looks. It looks like it wouldn't be possible, and yet, it is. I think that another problem that this book has is that most of the stories seem to harken back to the early days of Audrey's work, with simple stories that don't really fit into this later run of books. They just seem out of place, and the placement of this book in particular is especially jarring when you consider the book before had quite a few darker tones, and the one after is undisputably one of Audrey's best works. No wonder this one isn't all that great. Contender 4 Mounted Engines, 1964. This is not one that I would usually have put on here. To me, this is not only a good book, but is one that I deeply love. Despite that, it's only fair that I talk about this one here, as I have seen multiple people in the fandom criticise this one and call it one of Audrey's worst. This book focuses on the Kuldy Fell Mountain Railway, a rack railway that scales Sodor's tallest peak. The main criticism that I see of this one is that it's a shameless advertisement for the Snowdon Mountain Railway in Wales, but unlike the Scar Lowy and Arlesdale lines that also promote real life railways, supposedly this one's rather soulless in its agenda. I don't really agree with that though. Other common criticisms include the first two stories being boring, not sure how an engine falling off a mountain and dying is boring and the introduction of eight characters being pointless because Audrey only properly used four at the max of them effectively and didn't even name one of them. These are criticisms, however, that I disagree with. I adore this book and actually consider it one of Audrey's best examples of the wonderful world building that he put into Sodor. I find all of the mountain railway practices completely fascinating and hope to one day ride on the real railway itself. And that's it. The four books most argued to be the worst of the Reverence Railway series. I think that I can safely cross off Mountain Engines for its excellent use of a unique railway and its expansion of Audrey's universe, and whilst Edward the Blue Engine may be questionable as the combined collection of stories, the four on their own are actually pretty good, leaving it between James the Red Engine and Branch Line Engines. It's difficult. James has worse illustrations, Branch has worse stories. James has better character development, but Branch serves a purpose and introduces a fan favourite character. Uh, I think I'm going to have to say James the Red Engine is not the worst of Wilbert's Railway series books. That means, sorry Branch Line Engines, but you're boring. Daisy was handled way better in the TV series, as was the whole of Thomas Comes to Breakfast, which sadly only leaves Percy's predicament as your one standing achievement. So that is the video. In my opinion, Branch Line Engines is the worst railway series book by the Reverend Wilbur Audrey. If you've enjoyed, please consider subscribing and of course liking the video too. And don't forget to leave your railway series opinions, be them positive or negative, in the comments below. You've been watching Can You See Fish, and until next time, goodbye. It's good to be back.